Okay, here is my game Virtual Fixture. To get an idea of what the game's about, it's helpful to look at, like, the, at the picture here in the background. Um, so you are this player here, and you're stuck in this cave system, and your only friend, uh, <laughs> that sounds sad, you're only, uh, what, you, you're stuck with your buddy here, uh, and this, your buddy is this sphere that's attached to you via this cable, and then has a, there's like an overlay goggle system um, covering your face, and what your buddy does is he, he either lets you see the real world, or he projects a virtual world atop the real world. So the game is centered around the ability of your buddy to switch your visual perception between these two realities. Um, to see what I mean by that, let's actually get into it. We'll do a new game, do a random seed, and start, and then here we are. Uh, quickly on the left here, we have player lives. You start with five. Um, when you lose all of them, you lose the game. Buddy charges, you need to get five. Um, your, your buddy is supposedly low on power, and you need to collect five charges for him to be fully restored. Um, and then available actions, I made it so that you can the only, the available actions that are lit up here are ones that you can actually do. So if I go against a wall, uh, I can no longer walk left, and so the walk left is dark. Um, below that is the mouse over, so this tells you just what your mouse is hovering over, so this is a HUD. Here is you the player, here is your buddy, um, a wall tile, you remember seeing a wall tile. Uh, and then below that are instructions. So that's the HUD. Now we can actually get into the game here. So like I said, here's you and your buddy follows you in the world wherever you go. Um, I made it so that he doesn't obviously go over tiles that you haven't gone on so you don't accidentally trigger a trap or get stuck um, in a wall or he magically passes through a wall or something like that. Um, and you're trying to avoid you're trying to avoid these X traps. And part of the game is I, I put in a, a line of sight feature so that only tiles that you can actually see as the player are lit up. Um, and then tiles that you have seen but you can no longer that are no longer in your line of sight are dark but still there. So part of the game is to actually go through the cave and explore and figure it out, um, figure out the blueprint and sort of the layout, and then maybe find some, some features or, or things like that. Uh, so where are these bunny charges? So far we've only seen the traps. Um, there's no really charges that we've seen yet. and be, That's because the charges are only visible in the virtual world. Your buddy has to be projecting for you to be able to see the charges. So you have to use the space bar to switch over and then now you're in the virtual world. And you lose sight of what you have seen because your buddy can only project on what's in your line of sight, not on what you've not, you can't project into your memory and what you have seen. Um, so there's no charges here, but the point of the game is you, you, you have to continually switch back and forth where you're in the real world and avoid the traps, and then you can switch into the virtual world to sort of scan and find the buddy charges, which we can see over here. Um, the thing about the traps is they hurt you in both the real and virtual world. So if I go through this trap here, you'll see I have three lives. But if I switch to the virtual and go through that, I've been decremented to two. Um, however, the charges you have to be in the virtual world to pick up. So if I move right and then come back, the charge is still there. But if I do it now, then I'm able to pick them up. So that sort of that forces you to have to go back and forth between the two worlds. Um, and if you if you were to lose all your lives, right now I have it so that all the buddy charges disappear. So let me so if I go through these this last tile here these two should disappear like that and so now your player is dead and you are forever trapped in the cave with the traps you're trapped with the traps and uh, you're you're 
forced to live in this non-pleasant reality. But um, if you get all the buddy charges, let's see what happens then. Um, you might guess all the traps disappear. Uh, so if I, you can actually, this way you can see what it's like to play. Um, so you have to kind of scan through. I'm not very good. I haven't done a lot of playing yet. Uh, but let's see if we can find one, find five. Looks like I'm going to be very unlucky here. Okay. Okay, here we go. Here's one. That's a good sign. And now we need four more. Here's another one. through that mess. So let's go this way. Uh, let's go let's go down into the left. That seems like a good place. Okay. Let's go this way. Let's go back in this room. No, no, it's not a good idea. Okay. So we'll go here. I thought this was going to be easier. Okay, here we go. Here's one more. Oh, here we go, to the left, that's where they all are. I have to try and not die. If I die, this is going to be um, embarrassing and frustrating. Okay, we have to get all the way over there. Oh, oh no, I can't, okay. 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 Let's get these two. And then, so now we have all the traps, and now they're all gone. Very cool. So now you're free to roam with no worries. You can find the whole outline of the map. You are good to go. Um, hopefully later you can implement something where you like switch levels or gain an ability or um, I don't know, something or unlock the, a portal to something else. Something like that would be kind of cool. Uh, but right now you're just able to freely roam the cave system and explore. Um, so yeah, that's my game. Hopefully you think it's cool. I thought it was cool. It was fun to make. Um, and thanks for watching.